Come on, Mowgli! Faster! <laughs> Doing, Mowgli? Shh, don't move. I think we've lost him, Bagheera. <coughs> on my back! Hurry! And hang on tight! Wasting your time. Pity. I would have preferred to eat him. Oh, Mowgli. Oh, did Shere Khan really say that? How could anybody think of eating at a time like that? If that was me, I'd have thrown him in the ravine. Ricky's right. It's all my fault. No, it's mine. I swore to protect Mowgli with my life. No, you're both wrong. That tiger is to blame. We've lost a dear friend, and it's all because of Shere Khan. <sighs> that was close. <sighs> Can't be. She, she, she Khan said he's dead. Then that must have b b been uh, uh, a ghost. <laughs> hey, that sounds like Lolly. But why is she so sad? This won't bring Mowgli back! Huh? Your brother is right, my dear. Mowgli is dead. What? And we must carry on without him as best we can. Poor things. But they're in for a nice surprise when they see me... <gasps> really? All this weeping and wailing over a human so un... Dignified. Shere Khan, you'll apologize for that remark at once. I told you I'd get rid of the man cub. And now that it's done, just remember who rules this jungle. Shere Khan! Huh? Help! Uh, oh, 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 there's a ghost! Right behind me! Mowgli's back from the dead! Fool! What are you gibbering about? I saw Mowgli's ghost. He's come back to haunt us. Nonsense. I have got rid of the man cub once and for all. And for that, I shall never apologize. Mowgli's ghost. Just you wait, Shere Khan. By the time my ghost finishes with you, you'll be more than happy to apologize. <laughs> <gasps> huh? So blasé, Shere Khan. There's a ghost out there. Oh, somewhere. You still insist you've seen this ghost. You're in danger of boring me, Tabaki. Shere Khan, <gasps> it's you who is in danger. Oh, it's him! What was that? Who goes there? You know who I am, Shere Khan. You killed me. Man cub? It can't be. Oh, now do you believe me? I told you I saw his ghost. Oh, please don't hurt me, ghost of Mowgli. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Get 
away from me. I tell you, there are no such things as ghosts. <laughs> oh, yes, there are. Now you've upset my friends, Shere Khan. And for that, you must pay. You must tell everyone you're sorry for what you did. Darcy! Mowgli, you're alive! Oh, oh, I can't wait to tell everybody. No, no, don't. I'm not alive. Really? But you look so... so healthy! Shh! No, I'm Mowgli's ghost. Uh, and I'm busy right now, doing some haunting. Oh, I see. I'm sorry to disturb you. Uh, goodbye, Mowgli's ghost. It's obvious Baloo is playing some trick on me. Are you sure? I've heard that once evil spirits get a hold of you, they never let go. Tabaki is right. I will never give up. Not until you apologize to everyone. Where are you? Come out and face me. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> and here. <laughs> I hate that tiger. Baloo, how can you eat anything right now? I always eat when I'm when I'm sad. Oh my! Oh dear! Oh, you wouldn't believe it! Uh, are you all right, Darcy? Oh yes, I think I saw him. I saw Mowgli. You what? Well, not him. Him. I mean, Mowgli's ghost. Not you too, Darcy. Darcy, can you remember where you met this ghost? Oh yes. Sure I can. Take me there, right now. All right, you win, ghost. But you must promise to leave me in peace. I will, as long as you tell all the animals you're sorry. As you wish. <laughs> well? What are you waiting for? Go and apologize. Very well. I shall call them all to the ravine where I, uh, you fell. Why that? It is the most fitting place, is it not? They can gather on the other side of the ravine, while you can be on my side to witness my great humiliation. The ravine? Why the ravine? I don't know. But perhaps he likes the view. He's mocking us. I promise you, he means it. He's on his way there now. Thank you, Tabaki. I shall gather everyone together. <gasps> Unless ghosts have a scent, Darzee, Mowgli is alive. He was here. We've got to tell Baloo. Come on. Where's Baloo? Didn't you know? He's gone to the ravine to hear Khan's apology. Why didn't you go with them? Too sad. I've gathered you here for a very special reason. I have something important to say to you all. I'm sorry to say that Mowgli isn't dead after all. What? But he soon will be. <laughs> oh, it's him! It's the ghost! Don't let him get you me! You fool! It's not a ghost! Stop! <laughs> Tabaki! <laughs> Mowgli! <laughs> Just our luck. He survived. <laughs> and thanks to you, Bagheera. So did I this time. Mowgli! <laughs> I should have told you what I was up to. I'm sorry, Baloo. We're all just 
pleased you're still alive. Mowgli! Lolly! <laughs> Good to see you too, Lolly! <laughs> 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 the Council of Wolves is not a place to play. So, have all the matters been discussed? No, Arkela, I have a grievance. Uh, speak on, Peona. The man cub should be with his own kind. Huh? <laughs> Peona has always resented Mowgli. He feels that as a human he has no place in the pack. And we have no say in the matter? Mowgli was adopted by the wolves. We have no voice at their council. But, Arkela, I am with my own kind. I've been brought up a wolf, and a wolf I am! Your teeth are as little stumps compared to a wolf's. You cannot run like a wolf. I can run as fast as any wolf. Oh, no, Mowgli. Oh, this is not the way to handle things. I say we have a race. And the winner decides on your fate? Yes. Mowgli, you are certain of your course. <gasps> then the race will be run tomorrow <gasps> over the ancient route of man. This news will earn me a fat deer haunch from Shere Khan, or my name's not... Whoa! An interesting meeting, I thought. Can't wait to spread the news. Yes. In the meantime, could you help me get this spine of yours out of my... <laughs> Don't mind me. Just passing through. Mowgli! <laughs> well, Mowgli, as you have rashly decided upon this race, perhaps a few tips might be in order. <laughs> what do you know about racing? I can get through the jungle quicker than anyone. You've seen me swinging on the vines. <sighs> Mowgli, you challenged Peona to a running race. If you use the vines, you'll be disqualified. <gasps> And I'll have to leave. Oh, Baloo! Oh. Now listen. You cannot use the vines, but Peona is larger than you. You might make up enough time in the thick undergrowth. Both wriggling beneath fallen trees, squeezing through narrow spaces. So then, he challenged Peona to a race. Good. I have not eaten for a while. They start at the Council Rock, then past the Wolf's Lair, uh, through the Cold Lair. Yes. The Wolf will satisfy my hunger. Then I can toy with the man cub. So, I was thinking, uh, perhaps this news might be worth, say, one of the Wolf's legs? I shall consider it. And could you help me get rid of this porcupine quill? Oh. oh, thanks, Shere Khan. Peona, we know you're the fastest, so please call off the race. Mm -hmm. But it was Mowgli who suggested it. Of course, if he wishes to back out, then that's fine. But he will, of course, forfeit the race. And he'll have to go to Man's Village. <laughs> Ah, here comes the loser. So, I see you are prepared to undertake this race, Mowgli? Yes, Arkela. <sighs> Say goodbye to your friends, Mowgli. Today is the last day you'll see them. You both know the course? No, Bagheera. This is between Peona and Mowgli. We must not interfere. I'm only going to keep an eye on him. Make sure no harm comes to him. Oh. 
to do better than that, man cub. Looks like you're a bit tied up at the moment, Peona. <laughs> nice going, Markley. Like I win, Mowgli. <laughs> right. Let's see if he bounces. No. Let him go. No. Thanks, but get off. Help me. <laughs> what just happened? They should have been here by now. It'll be the worst for you if they don't get here soon, Tabaki. My patience is wearing thin. <gasps> They're coming! Well, the wolf at any rate. Look! Over there! <laughs> Fiona, you're just in time for lunch. What's on the menu? You! Shikan! Shikan! Oh, spare me! A greater prize is on its way! The man cub! I know. And I shall deal with him after I finished you off. <laughs> Mowgli, run! You can win! Shere Khan will deal with Peona. Yes! And I can't let that happen! He may hate me, but he is my kin! <laughs> Shere Khan! What just happened? It seems Peona is the winner. Yes, and so it is time to claim my prize. Mowgli, you are a wolf no more. Leave the jungle. Go. Live with your own kind. Bye, Raksha. Bye, Bala. And you, Lolly, I'll miss you. Tell them what you told me, Bagheera. Mowgli saved you from Shere Khan, Peona, and this is how you repay him? What's this, Peona? Near the cold lair, Shere Khan attacked Peona. I was there, and if it hadn't been for Mowgli, Peona would be so much tiger meat. <gasps> Peona, does the panther speak true? Yes. Your behavior is unbecoming of one of my pack. But, oh, Kayla, I... Silence, Peona. We shall speak of this again at a later time. As for you, Mowgli, you could have left Peona to his fate and won the race, but you chose to stand and defend one of your own kind. You acted as a true wolf. Does this mean... <gasps> yes. Brother. <laughs> Shere Khan. Oh, Shere Khan. I was wondering, the wolf haunts you promised me. Have you... Oh, what happened to your head? The same thing that is about to happen to yours. No! My head. Uh, Baloo, what are you doing? Just limbering up. <laughs> I thought you might like to see what racing's really about. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Baloo. 
<laughs> Last one to the other side, the loser. I'll show him. Oh, boys. <laughs> My river, Mowgli. If you come in it again, I shall eat you. You will always miss me, Jakala. Mark my words, man cub. He who laughs last, laughs longest. We should keep away from the river for a while. Jakala's hungry and angry. Bala's right. We've annoyed him enough for one day. Oh, we really are not going to make it in time. We're doing our best, dear. We should never have stopped to eat those juicy leaves. But we always stop to eat juicy leaves. Not when we're late. Hello. What's wrong? We're on our way to see the baby turtles hatch at sundown. Oh, baby turtles hatching? Oh, that's brilliant. Only we set out too late. We stopped too often and now we're going to miss them. We may never live to see another hatching. Oh, we'll help. We'll get you there in time. We can't wait to see baby turtles hatching. How do we get there? That's easy. There's only one way. We follow the river to an island and the nesting grounds are right there on the beach. We can't go in the river. Think of Jakala. We're not going in the river. We'll be on the bank. We'll be fine as long as we keep out of the water, won't we, Lali? Oh, of course we will. And we'll keep our eyes open. All right. Let's run! Run? <laughs> oh. <sighs> They're so slow, even when they're running. I know. If they don't speed up, that log will get there before we do. All right, we're going to try something different. <coughs> oh, thank you. <coughs> we're not going to make it, are we? We are if I have anything to do with it. It. They can't run, and I can't carry them. They'll have to be pulled. I've never been for a ride before. How exciting. Unless you happen to be doing the pulling. Everybody ready? Let's go! You look so silly. Speak for yourself. Oh, I'm so sorry. It'll be sunset soon. We'll never make it to the nesting grounds in time. Why ever not? <laughs> look. That's the island. You've done it, Mowgli. Oh, yes. We're nearly there. How do we get there? <laughs> <laughs> 
We usually swim. But what about Jakala? Don't worry. We'll swim and you can walk. Oh, we'll be your stepping stones. Jakala doesn't like turtles. We're too crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a brilliant idea. Let's get stepping. open and I didn't. We both promised. And we've led Jakala to the baby turtles. <sighs> Only one thing can beat a meal of wolf. Foolish wolf car. Hey! Jakala! You smelly gap-toothed croc! Catch me if you can! I think Mowgli's trying to lure Jakala over the waterfall. But if he goes too, he's done for! Getting us here in time. And for a day to remember. <laughs> Same time next year, perhaps? Of course. With us to help you, what could possibly go wrong? Hold still. 
I'm trying to study you. Wait! <laughs> Baloo! <laughs> What is it? Can I borrow your eyeglasses? Eyeglasses? I want to see those butterflies close up, but every time I get near, they fly away. Well, the thing is, Smugly, I can't see a thing without my glasses. Please, I'll give them back right away, I promise. Well, all right then. Just for a minute. Look at me! What do you think, Baloo? I'm clever now. I'm king of the jungle! Be very careful now. I don't have a spare pair. <laughs> don't worry, Baloo. Oh, I think this butterfly is my favourite. This one is very nice. All right now, that's enough. Oh. Give them back before they get damaged. Yes, I've got them. Just give me a moment. Watch it, man cub. You stepped on my tail. I didn't mean to. I was just looking for something. Hey! <laughs> What's going on, Mowgli? Who are you talking to? What about my glasses? Hey! Come back with those! Come back! Want to play? Well, don't you want to play? Playing is for babies. Ooh, do you hear that? Masha's too grown up to play with us. Why aren't we good enough, Masha? Because I'm clever now. I'm queen of the jungle. <laughs> oh, Masha, <laughs> you look funny. Where did you get those um glasses? Only clever animals are allowed to wear uh, them. How do they work? Too many questions. It is time for Queen Masha to address her people. Mowgli, are you sure it was a Banda Log Monkey? I think so. A female. What difference does it make? The glasses will be lost now. Those Banda Log are crazy. Oh, I feel really bad, Baloo. This is all my fault. I'll just have to get along without them the best I can, won't I? As for you, Mowgli, you can take that silly grin off your face at once. Uh, Baloo, you're talking to a tree. What? What? No. Bagheera, we have to go to the cold lair and find that monkey. Uh, no, Mowgli, you're not going anywhere tonight. We'll have supper and get some sleep. <laughs> silly monkey. What does she want with a pair of glasses, anyway? You ask why there's snow on the mountains. Queen Masha will tell you. It drips down from the moon. <laughs> there's snow on the moon? Of course. Why do you think it's white? Um, 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 why do elephants have long noses? That's an easy one. They use them to climb trees. I've never seen an elephant in a tree. They only do it when no one's looking. <laughs> oh, come and see, Queen Masha is the cleverest monkey who ever lived. <laughs> no more questions. It is time for you to prepare food for your queen. I will also need to sit on my throne. I said no more questions. But I only wanted to ask, what, what is a throne? Not hungry, Mowgli. Um, no. I think I'll go to sleep now. Good 
night, Bagheera. Good night, Baloo. And sorry. Good night, Mowgli. Your liking, Queen Masha. Not ripe enough. <laughs> Any better, Queen Masha? <laughs> Too ripe. a queen ever had. I want a song. I want a song that's written just for me so that every animal who hears it will know that I, Queen Masha, rule over the bandalog. Well, a song? Baloo, <clears throat> don't you think you were a little hard on Mowgli? I mean, he wasn't to know that the monkey was watching. Hmm. Perhaps you're right, Bagheera. I wouldn't want him to feel too bad about it. Poor little man-cub. He looks terrible. I hope he's not having bad dreams. Baloo, that's not Mowgli. He's gone. <laughs> I'm waiting. Yes. Um... Yeah. Uh, queen Masha! Um, she is our queen! She's the very best queen there's ever been! Man Cub! What are you doing here? Worshipping you, of course! Queen Masha! She is our queen! She is the prettiest queen I've ever seen! She's never cruel or mean. She's very, very keen on bananas. I know. Let's dance. Do you hear that? You dance very well. But you'll dance even better without these. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Do something. Why should we? As your queen, I... <laughs> Monkey, you'll have to eat me first. Excellent. I'll have her for dessert. Where are you, Mowgli? We'll save you! <laughs> Who threw that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mowgli, it was brave of you to go to the cold lair on my behalf, but you put yourself in serious danger. Next time, wait until we can all go. Well, Masha was brave too, and it seems the other monkeys have forgiven her, which only leaves one small problem. <laughs> what to do about all my loyal new subjects? Hail King Baloo! Hail King Baloo! King Baloo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you.
Ubanu, it wasn't me who took your honeycomb. Well, I didn't put it in your tree, and I'm almost sure Bagheera didn't. <sighs> hey! What's my fish doing in your nest? What? Mowgli! Look, I didn't take anything! But Mowgli, our food was in your tree. Are you calling me a thief? Ah. No. All I'm saying is, if you want something, ask first. You are calling me a thief. All right. Uh -huh. If that's the way you feel, Ooh. I'm leaving. <laughs> I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, what's the matter? Baloo and Bagheera think I stole from them, but I didn't. Oh, dear. Why were you looking for me? Everyone's looking for you, Mowgli. Arkela wants to see you. Hmm? You wanted to see me, Arkela? Yes, Mowgli. How do you explain this? This is my meat. It was found hidden in your nest in your parents' den. I didn't put it there. Arkela, Mowgli is not a thief. Do you expect me to believe that when he stole from his friends as well? <clears throat> Icky told us all about it. Icky? It's not true. She's lying. I am sorry, Mowgli, but there is only one punishment for theft. You are banished from the wolf pack. But Arkela! Please, Arkela. I have spoken. Go. I'm not a thief. I'm going to find Icky and prove I'm innocent. Are you sure you've spread the word right round the jungle? Yes, I've done my part, and now the word is spreading like wildfire. <laughs> uh, when do I get my reward? Mowgli's a thief. Mowgli's a thief. Mowgli's a thief. <laughs> Mowgli's a thief. Mowgli's a thief. Mowgli's a thief. Have you seen Icky? Go away! You're a thief! Thief! I just don't understand it. Mowgli doesn't steal. But who else would have put our food in the tree if it wasn't him? And why? Unless they wanted us to think it was him. So, Mowgli stole from you as well, did he? What, huh? I always said he was no good. Shame you didn't listen to me, but oh no, you just thought I was a silly old bird who... <laughs> what happened, you silly old bird? Haven't you heard? Arkela banished him for stealing. Well, we've got to find Mowgli. Are you sure no one saw you taking the food and hiding it? Oh, no one saw me, Shere Khan. I was far too quick to be seen. <laughs> and now everyone thinks Mowgli is the thief. <laughs> Excellent. Mowgli's alone with no one to protect him. Yes. And now he's looking for our little helper. <laughs> Icky, my dear. There's one more thing we'd like you to do for us. <laughs> All right. But I'll want more of this fruit. Of course, Icky. Of course. <laughs> we want you to be the bait in our trap. Now, bring the man-cub here. <laughs> no one may help him. That is our law. Please. They're only asking which way he went. Akela, this is Mowgli we're talking about. And no one may mention his name. Now go. Huh? Well, that went well. He went that way. Please find him. We will. Don't worry. <laughs> What do you want? Come to call me a thief too? What? 
Surely you don't think I believe what Icky says? I'm just so sorry to see you like this. Banned from the wolf pack, separated from your family. I don't need reminding, thanks. Wait, did you say you don't believe her? Of course not. That disgraceful porcupine's been spreading lies about me for years. Believe me, Mowgli, I know what you're going through. You haven't seen her anywhere, have you? I have, as it happens. Want me to show you? Uh, uh, uh. I should never have trusted you! <laughs> what was Icky doing all the way out here? Spreading her vile gossip, I suppose. But there isn't anyone to spread it to. And why would she tell lies about me anyway? I didn't do anything to her. Oh, well, you know Icky. Give her food and she'll do anything for you. Mm. She's through here. Come on. Mm. Quick, he's coming. This explains everything. Where is he? <laughs> What's he doing all the way out here? And with Tabaki? Look! It was the perfect <laughs> trap, and you let him escape! We'll find him! Don't worry, he can't have gone far. Please don't hurt me! <laughs> Mowgli! I'm so sorry. I didn't believe you. <sighs> it's not your fault, Baloo. It's all a plot by Shere Khan and Tabaki. And Icky's the key to it. She can prove to Arkayla that I'm innocent. How are we going to get to her with Shere Khan out there? There's a way we can fool him. With this. Tabaki, where are you? <laughs> this was your idea. <laughs> Why did you tell that wicked jackal to kill Mowgli and eat him? Uh, I didn't. He's lying. This is all that's left of him. We found it in your den. <laughs> Traitor! <laughs> They're going towards Mowgli. <laughs> Please. He's down there. And how exactly will that help you? a bad thing. I know. But now you can put things right. Yes. He ordered Tabaki to hide the meat and other things to make it look like Mowgli stole them. Then he made me tell everyone. I'm really sorry for what I did. So you should be. You got Mowgli into terrible trouble. And I am sorry too. I was fooled into believing a rumour. Let that be a lesson to us all. Welcome back to the wolf pack, Mowgli. And thank you for proving me wrong. And thank you for helping Mowgli. If it wasn't for you, we might never have seen him again. Yes, thank you. 
You're the best friends in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly. Uh, that wasn't very friendly, calling Bala a cheat. How can you say that, Baloo? I thought you were on my side. Uh, these fights with your brother, they're only supposed to help you grow strong and learn the ways of the jungle. Why don't you go back and apologise? Huh. He only beat you because that claw you wear got in your way. Maybe you should take it off before you fight. I'll never take it off, and I'll never apologise to Bala. Why don't you just both leave me alone? Something's eating, that man-cub. Yes, and talking of eating, I think it's dinner time. You haven't eaten. I'm not hungry. Does it really matter so much, losing the fight? I mean, you've beaten Bala so many times. That's just it. I only win because of this. Your claw? Don't you remember how I got it? Of course, in a fight with Shere Khan. Why? I never told anyone, but ever since that day, I've won every battle. Don't you see, Bagheera? This claw brings me good luck. Luck? What's so funny? Oh, no. <laughs> you are joking, aren't you, Mowgli? A claw brings you luck? How's that supposed to work? <laughs> Come on, let's go home. What does he know? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Watch it! <laughs> Remember, only pick the ripe ones. Sorry. <laughs> well, you said you wanted ripe ones. Come on, Baloo. You can wash yourself in the stream. Come on, Baloo. I'm thirsty. So am I, man cub. Thirsty for revenge. <laughs> belong in my jungle. And now, I will be rid of you forever. I don't know what happened, Mowgli, but I think you've had a lucky escape. Is he still up in that tree? Hmm. I'm not surprised after what you said. I feel a bit bad for laughing at him, Baloo, but come on. There's no room in the jungle for superstition. You're forgetting. He's a man cub, and humans see things differently. He'll probably never let that charm out of his sight. Oh. Huh? My charm! <laughs> Did you see my charm anywhere? Car? Car, wake up! You're sleeping on my... There it is! Huh? Come away. Oh. 
Ka ate some bad food. He has indigestion and he's sleeping it off. You know what that means? Yes. It means I can't get my charm back. I dropped it. Forget it. A python with indigestion is worse than a tiger with toothache. Ow! Shh. Aren't you going to eat something, Mowgli? These berries are good. How about a rat? Uh, Carl won't be the only one with indigestion. Don't worry. You'll get the charm back just as soon as Carl wakes up. When will that be? Well, he did eat a water buffalo. I'd say anywhere between three and six months. Hmm. Mowgli, I didn't like what you said. If you still want that rematch, you can have it. I'll meet you at sundown and we'll settle this. Once and for all. Now, Bala, Mowgli didn't mean to call you a ch Yes, I did. I'll be there. Then we'll see who's the strongest until sundown. Sundown. Maybe it's for the best. At least Mowgli won't have his lucky charm to help him. Silly snake! Oh, Carl! Can you let me go, please? Ugh. Oh, this might work. There must be some way to wake him up. Baloo, is that you? Ugh. If this is a panther's idea of a snack, I'm glad I'm a man cop. Caw! Oh, Caw! Supper time! Look what I've got for you! A nice, smelly, mouldy rat! Not bad. Shere Khan! And now that I've had my appetizer, it's time for the main course. Where is he? You mean he hasn't shown up? That's not like Mowgli. He's a coward. Afraid to face me. Bola, you and Mowgli should stop this silly fighting. Lali's right, Bala. This quarrel is so needless. You are wise, Baloo. But this is between Mowgli and me. When you see him... Tell him I'm waiting for him. I can't understand why he's not here. Mowgli's no coward. I'm not afraid of you. I beat you in a fight once before. You mean when I lost my claw? I've got bad news for you. They grow back. What is going on around here? Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? Who woke me up? Just you try and eat me. I've got my lucky claw! If I wasn't feeling so ill, you'd make a good snack, man cub. Don't ever, ever disturb my sleep again. And you don't need a lucky claw. You're brave enough without it. Here. Here. I won't be needing this. Huh? So you finally showed up. The winner of this fight will be declared the strongest for all time. All right, but first I want to say... What are we waiting for? Let's get on with it. <laughs> well, do you surrender? Father, <laughs> there's something I have to tell you. What? <laughs> that I'm the strongest? No, that I'm sorry. Really? You mean it? Yes, I shouldn't have called you a cheat. Well, thanks. And I told Lali I thought you were a coward. That's not true. <laughs> so why are we fighting? Uh, I don't remember. We're brothers, aren't we? I declare the contest a draw. Neither of them is the stronger. <laughs> 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 I thought you didn't need this now. That's true, Baloo. But I like to wear it. 
it reminds me that I once beat Shere Khan in a fight. Hmm. With a little luck. You were lucky this time. You escaped from Shere Khan's claws. But Shere Khan is certainly one to bear a grudge. Uh, mind you, uh, this does remind me of the day uh, 